Hello and welcome back to my channel. I finally remembered the other video that I wanted to cover today and it's a Donald Trump story. All the stories today are Donald Trump stories. Why do they have to be Donald Trump stories? They make my head hurt. Um, it's basically our president making, breaking the among, amongness. I cannot pronounce that word. But basically he's going against the constitution and profiting from his presidency and it is not okay, it is not right, and it is not legal and he should not be doing it. Okay, so let's go from the least offensive to the absolutely most disgustingly offensive. And yeah, okay, so the thing that I find least offensive, which is still highly, highly offensive and extremely annoying, is when he, um, he, call, he charges, when he goes to his golf courts or his golf clubs or whatever, it's free for him to go. He doesn't have to pay money. He doesn't have to do anything. Why are you charging us for that? Why are you charging for golf club rentals? You say that you're not doing this for the money, but yet you're charging the Secret Service an absorbent amount of money to follow you around in golf carts. You're charging them for room and board. You're charging them for their meals. You're charging, you're, you're milking them for everything that you can get out of them. And we're paying for it. We're paying for your golf vacations, which fine, fine. You know what? Go stay somewhere else and don't stay at your own business. If you want to golf and you want me to pay for it with my tax dollars, then don't go to your own property. I'm just saying, because if you're going to your own property and you're profiting off of it, you're disgusting and you're gross and it's not our job to prop up your failing businesses and that's exactly what you're doing um i think i've already covered this kind of the whole trump wants to turn the g7 summit down to his uh resort in miami um it's extremely offensive extremely extremely offensive because not only would um he be getting paid and by the way this business is underwater it's losing money and it's one of trump's biggest money makers and it's losing money and it's underwater and he's trying to use this to float it back up. Um, but Durrell, by the way, I hate to say it, but it's his West, it's his Miami Durrell. It's Durrell for anyone who wants to know. He's trying to do the G8 summit or G7 summit there. He's trying to turn it into the G8 summit, but that's a different conversation. And all these people would have to pay. He'd have to pay for staff, security, um, the people that are actually coming, the, the world leaders, you'd have to pay for that. All their food, all of the uh, golf carts and stuff that it would take for them to be able to go golfing and do things. That would all be charged to them and then would profit the president's private business. So he's using the G7 summit, which he's trying to turn into the G8 summit. He's using that to prop up a failing business. And that is not okay. And then we have... Mike Pence, who is just creepy in his own right, but not the point, who flew to, to Ireland and stayed at a Trump property 180 miles away from where he was meeting people. So we had to pay for his plane ride back and forth on top of paying Trump's hotel for security, for his staff, for his food, for any kind of golf that he does, anything like that we paid for and cool if we're paying for it and he's staying closer i get it but he's not staying closer they actually had to meet the um when he met with people they met in the air they met in the airport lounge because it was at a halfway meeting point for some things and no if you are having meetings in dublin stay in dublin just because the president suggests that you stay at his hotel to once again prop up one of his failing businesses you shouldn't do it you are supposed to be the adult in the room and you've yet to be the adult in the room. You've just been a sycophant that sits back and I guess prays for a better tomorrow. I don't know. You're gross. We shouldn't be paying for that. We just shouldn't. And then the thing that makes me the angriest is the fact that the military is rerouting flights to Scotland to a failing airport and then driving 30 minutes to your hotel to prop up your failing hotel. The people that are being forced to stay in this hotel military, they can't even afford to eat or do anything at your hotel. So you're forcing them to stay there and then they have to go find food because they can't afford anything in your hotel. What is wrong with you? And you're using, and we're paying a lot more money. Like I just did a video talking about how you don't care about the military. Um, by defunding military projects and I was talking about how you're paying more money for something we could get cheaper the fuel We paid 11 million dollars for fuel when we could have gotten that for a fraction of the cost at an, at an Air Force base in England 
or um, in Rota, Spain, or somewhere else where they traditionally stop. But no, we're gonna pay more for fuel. We're gonna pay, I'm sure you're charging full rates for the hotel. So we're propping up the failing, failing, failing airport because you don't want to see that airport fail because your business will fail. And then we're propping up that already failing business. The presidency is not something for you to profit off of. It's an honor to serve as the president of the United States. It's not a joke. It is not something that you do to make money. Yes, presidents make money after they leave. It's kind of their retirement plan. because It's not like they can go get a regular job. So they do speaking engagements. They write books. They do things like that. That is a normal thing for presidents to do after they're out of office. It is not normal for Republicans to hold banquets at your hotels. It is not normal for the freaking vice president to stay at a ha or to stay 180 miles away from Dublin to prop up your failing business. It is not normal for the G7 summit to be held at a private private business to prop up another one of your failing businesses. It is not okay to send military to a to an to a to an airport in Scotland to prop up a failing airport to prop up your failing business. You are a bad businessman. You should not be using the presidency and I'm kind of sick of you using something that we hold dear and you're abusing it and you're using it and you are making the presidency a joke and I'm sick of it. I am just sick of Donald Trump. We need to vote in 2020. Vote in 2020. Subscribe. Subscribe to the links that I have down below. I have God is Gray link down below. I have Rachel Oates link down below. Please subscribe to both of them. Please go send Rachel love on Twitter and I will see you later.